Neil, after an extended break for obvious and, and serious reasons, uh, we're back. The players had a medical assessment yesterday and back to training today. How is everyone? Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. You know, you, you are concerned when you, uh, you have the little outbreak or whatever it was and then you have the break in between the Christmas period and you, you might, you're hoping the boys are looking after themselves and, and they're healthy when they come back. And then to have the tests to find out everybody was and to just get back into some sort of normality, it's not normal. We know how difficult it is out there, but you know, we've, got, we've had a privilege in, in respect of we can come in and, and, and do our job. So we've got to make sure that we make the most of it and um, you know, the supporters will be backing us 100% as well. But uh, it was good to be out there, as cold as it was and damp and wet, but you know, there's no better place for us. And in our previous interviews, we talked about what we thought was going to be a busy Christmas period, and actually, it was quite the opposite, wasn't it? Very strange. Really, really strange. You know, the whole the whole celebration of Christmas uh, was very uh, muted. Um, you know, was indoors. You know, just with your immediate family. You know, not being out to see other people, and you know, it was tough. It was tough in that respect mentally. Um, but as I say, you know, I spoke to the boys over the, the period that we were off, making sure they're okay if they need any help. Um, and we, we, you know, we've got to make sure that the sacrifices that everybody's making, we, we make sure that we, we make the most of it and hopefully come out of this side uh, a safe club in a good position to, to compete against the teams that are in and around the playoffs at the moment. And our last league match, uh, quite a while ago, 12th of December to be exact, back on BT Sport against uh, Solihull. Um, obviously the next game on the 9th, it's nearly a month between league games, which is very unusual. That's right. You know, and the boys are back in and we're trying to get as much as we can done to try and get them back to where they were for that Solihull game and obviously the Hemel Hempstead FA Trophy game on the Tuesday afterwards, which were two fantastic performances, two clean sheets, you know, to go away at home away from home to uh, beat Solihull was an amazing achievement. The boys put a, a fantastic shift in and then obviously to do it again against Hemel Hempstead with a, with a few of the players out as well, which is another fantastic result and, and Harry playing so well, you know, we've managed to get on loan again till the end of the season. So we've got to try and get all that back in a week and it's my job to make sure the players are back, you know, feet on the ground, getting back to the basics, making sure that we get that team ethic and work ethic going again. Um, because it's going to be a tough January, you know, if we do play the amount of games that are, are scheduled for January, it's going to be a busy, busy period and we've got to make sure we pick up as many points as we can. You mentioned Harry Forster there, of course, extending his loan. What a great player he's been in character since coming in. He's been a credit to Watford, he's been a credit to himself uh, and his family. He's come in, he's worked tirelessly um, and when he gets his chances, he's been taking them. So, uh, you know, I've, I've said to him, he's just got to keep doing, doing what he's doing and if, if he keeps doing that, he'll be in my team. Um, and if he's not in the team, he's, he, he's willing to work hard to try and get back in there. So he's got a great attitude and no doubt he'll have a, a great future in the football. Um, but at the moment, I need him having a great future for us. Uh, next game, of course, Chesterfield at home, a side that are on a bit of a resurgence at the moment under James Rowe and it should be a good game. Yeah, it'll be a tough game. Obviously, we know them really well. They, 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 I think they've brought in a couple of players, a couple of forwards, one from Gloucester and I think he's brought in another one as well um, very recently. So they're going, to, they're going to be a tough side, they're on a bit of a roll, they've been playing regular as well, so they're getting that little bit of, um, well, however he wants them to play, um, they're doing it, they're doing well for him, so it'll be a tough game, but uh, we're ready for him, we're ready for him, and I know if we play to where I, and, and how good I think we can do, it'll be a tough game for them. Well, Neil, great to catch up, thanks for joining us. Thank you.